Pretty cool, right? Pretty sweet. You can, uh, so once you got the, the race started and the music going, what else is going on? Well, let's talk about graphics. Since Asphalt 4, we've learned a lot of new tricks developing for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. And we're pushing the hardware further than ever before. Asphalt 5 features advanced lighting effects, high resolution environments, super fast frame rates, and tight responsive controls. Now, all these things combine to deliver a console quality gaming experience unlike anything we've ever been able to produce before. <laughs> we even worked some shortcuts into the game. Now, on top of all this, what's really going to make Asphalt 5 shine are the additional 3.0 features we worked in the, into the game. We're going to have peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer over Bluetooth, worldwide online multiplayer over Wi-Fi, which will include in-game voice chat, and we'll even be selling content packs where you can download one new racetrack and three new cars for just 99 cents using an app purchase. So keep an eye out for Asphalt 5. It'll be shipping later this summer. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Mike. It's great stuff. Next up is Airstrip Technologies. Airstrip Technologies creates medical software that allows healthcare providers to monitor patient data on their mobile devices. To show you some exciting new work they're doing for the iPhone, I'd like to invite up Dr. Cameron Powell. Dr. Powell. Thanks, hey. hey, Scott. Good morning. Driving today is Airstrip co-founder and CTO, Trey Moore. You know, at Airstrip Technologies, we are all about patient safety. Now, you're familiar with Airstrip OB from the video earlier. That application is already FDA cleared and is approaching 100 hospital installations. Now, the medical community is flocking to the iPhone. So this morning, we wanted to take advantage of the time and give you a sneak peek of our next application, Airstrip Critical Care, featuring some great new iPhone 3.0 SDK features. So let's start with push notification. So with push, I can pre-select those clinical parameters that I wish to be notified of when I'm on call. For example, we've just received an alert that a patient's recently ordered lab value has come back abnormal. Well, by acknowledging the alert, I can go directly to the test results screen where I can see that the patient's potassium level is too low. I can then navigate back to the patient summary screen to see more information about my patient. But you know, what if I'm away from the hospital and all I have is my iPhone and a cell phone connection? Well now, with Airship Critical Care, I'm going to be able to virtually look into that patient's room. So even though I'm away from the hospital, thank you. So even though, even though I'm away from the hospital, I can still look at this real-time waveform data just as if I were at the patient's bedside. But doctors like me can't be at the bedside 24-7, so we had to figure out ways to bring the data to the mobile physician anytime, anywhere, and we've now done that on the iPhone. Now, this is just like having a patient monitor in my hand, but you know what, it's even better. Because if I see a problem, I can tap to pause, I can scroll back over time to an event that may have occurred in the past, and then if I'm interested in that cardiac waveform, I can double tap on the tracing. I can enable pinch zoom, I can scroll back over time to look for abnormalities, and then if I see something of interest, I can zoom in, and I can enable touch calibration. This is really great. I can use the calipers to measure the distance between a cardiac event or perhaps the size of a waveform. So you know, in healthcare today, we really have a problem. There's not enough doctors, and there are so many patients that need our help. So what you've seen this morning is an example of how Airship Technologies is working to solve this problem by bringing any data to any doctor, anytime, anywhere on the iPhone. Now, we anticipate FDA clearance for this next product, Airship Critical Care, in the near future, and please look for us on the App Store. Thank you very much. Next up is Scroll Motion. Scroll Motion was created to develop digital books for the App Store. They're currently shipping titles from all major publishers in North America. To show you what they're doing with iPhone OS 3.0, I'd like to invite up Josh Kapol. Josh? Thank you. Good morning. Joining, to me, joining me on stage is John Lima, my partner and co-founder. 
Scroll Motion is a company that was built around the idea of bringing great content to the iPhone. And in the last year, we've gone after the publishing space in a big way. This is our new in-app bookstore. It's powered by in-app purchase, one of the great new features in iPhone SDK 3.0. Let's go shopping. We currently have over 500 best-selling books in the App Store. But we are proud to announce that we've made deals to bring 50 major magazines, over 170 daily newspapers, and over 1 million books to the App Store. <laughs> Let's buy one. Here we are in a category section. Let's go to Teens. Ah, New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. Let's buy it. This is the book downloading directly into the app. Uh, this is the in-app bookshelf. This is where all your, app, your books live, and it's downloaded. Let's read it. The scroll motion experience for Iceberg is a, swipe, is a scrollable page with the ability to swipe to turn back and forth. You can pinch to zoom the page as well. Um, now, two of the great new features in iPhone SDK 3.0 are copy-paste and in-app email. And we think that these are features that are going to really appeal to students. So, Let's imagine for a second that I'm writing a paper and I want to make a citation. All I have to do is copy and email. And the text is brought directly into the mail without ever leaving the app. Also present is all the rel relevant bibliographic information like author, title, page number, and even a link back to the App Store. Now we are so excited about the educational space. And with that in mind, we're happy to announce that we've partnered with some of the largest textbook publishers in the world, including Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, McGraw-Hill, and Wiley to bring textbooks to the App Store. We are Scroll Motion. This is the Iceberg Reader, and it is coming soon to an iPhone near you. Thank you. Thanks, Ash. Next up is Tom Tom. The first, yeah, I said we're letting a turn by turn direction application. The, the first portable navigation device I ever purchased was a TomTom. -tom. And uh, to this day, my kids still refer to all turn by turn direction applications as TomToms. Uh, to show you how they're bringing both applications and accessory integration to the iPhone, I'd like to bring up CTO and co founder Peter Franz Pals. Peter Franz? Thank you. And good morning, everyone. TomTom Tom is very pleased and very proud to bring the very best navigation and the best maps to the iPhone. Using the new features in iPhone SDK 3.0, we've worked hard, we've optimized, and we've succeeded in to deliver real TomTom Tom navigation as a true iPhone experience. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. We'll plan our route, leaving from where we are right here at Moscone West, as a destination, we'll choose a contact from the address book. We'll take the fastest route option. The route is now calculated using TomTom's unique IQ routes technology, which uses our enhanced map data and advanced planning algorithms to give you the very best route at a particular time of day. Absolutely unique. Instead of us all now going outside to a car, we'll use the built-in demo option to see what the navigation looks like. And off we go. You clearly see what's ahead and what's going to happen next. So that looks good. We'll also make it.